95.7 The Game. Breaking news. <laughs> Well, and there it is. This is the news we've been uh, waiting for, and it is courtesy of Adrian Wojnarowski. The NBA is suspending the Warriors' Draymond Green for five games. Five games is the answer. Mm. Draymond is now out for a full five. So I think this feeds right into some of what you were just saying. Yeah. Now this is definitely on the high side of what I heard a lot of people sort of guessing out there. He's going to miss five games. And so how does that, if at all, adjust or change the way you were thinking about his act? 888-957-9570. Because when you talk about it preventing the Warriors from playing well, well, there you go. You can say he held up for a teammate. But now he's going to miss five games yeah. for a team that's on a four-game losing streak. At Sacramento, November 28th will be the next time you see him. So that's two weeks. We won't see Draymond for two. Two Oklahoma cities at home, a Houston at home, at Phoenix, and then San Antonio yeah. in an IST game in-season tournament. Wembenyama. Right, and that's the day after Thanksgiving. So Draymond out for five games until November 28th at Sacramento, I thought that it would just be one game as we've gone through the show from the crossover at 145 all the way up until about 10 minutes ago. And I just made the comment of, you know, he's going to be out for, for maybe one or two or three. And I'm looking at you and you're, you're giving me the keep going. <laughs> it was like price is right, you know, and I'm looking at you. And as I was saying it, I was kind of believing it more and more that it would be two or three and it might be four. And the fact that it lands on five, knowing that we know about all of the past transgressions and knowing that the league was looking at those past transgressions and also looking at the severity of the choke from the eyes of, of a neutral observer. And I see it differently because I think Rudy Gobert was at fault as well. And I'm not seeing anything from Woj about a Rudy Gobert suspension so Draymond gets five games. Rudy's not going to get suspended. He didn't even get ejected. Yeah, he didn't even get. That's I don't be, even think he got a technical foul, did that, he? Nope. That's for gonna, putting for being a quote unquote peacemaker. No, he went to the free throw line. Exactly. Yeah. No. He like like this. And is, one thing that I didn't realize until I looked at the uh, the play by play is uh, Draymond also gets uh, charged with the turnover for an offensive foul <laughs> on the play. <laughs> so add insult to injury, but yeah. five games from Draymond. Feels too harsh to me, and I look forward to getting Steve Kerr's comments Friday when we interview him. I'm sure he's also going to think it's too harsh, but five games? That seems like too many, Mark, for me. Um, I'm not surprised because I think that when we look at this situation, we look at it through a lens that is different than the way the league looks at it. I think we're going to sit here tonight and we're going to go, but wait a minute. Rudy had his hands on Clay, and Clay only had half a jersey, and we, we do all of that, and that's totally fair. How else would a fan do this? That's not what the league's doing. You want to know what the league just said? Dude, we are sick and tired of you getting into these situations. So go ahead and do it again in two weeks. And all you might do is flick someone in the ear at the free throw line. We'll do seven. Want to test us? You want to do it again? We're not choking people on national television. We're not doing this. So that is what the league is saying here. Adrian Wojnarowski this morning tried to warn all of us. He screamed repeat offender into the television set as loudly as he could. He stopped, he paused, he took a deep breath. Repeat offender. And he stated that's going to have a major effect on how this all plays out. And he was right. And so I really think that's what's going on here. Steve Kerr, once upon a time, we read his lips. I'm so bleeping sick of Draymond. Well, the NBA just said the exact same thing. And so this may feel too severe for the act that you watched last night. I don't think this was about the act that we saw last night. Of course. If it was just the act, and I said it earlier, if it was Andrew Wiggins who happened, and you're going to have to uh, allow me this this leap 
to think of Andrew Wiggins jumping into a fray like that and and putting Rudy Gobert into a chokehold. But if it was Andrew Wiggins, or even more ridiculous, Kevon Looney, if Kevon Looney up and did what Draymond did, it's probably an ejection and a one-game suspension for any other player on the Golden you. State yes. Warriors not named Draymond yeah. Green. So we're going to look at Draymond's past and allow that to be the reason to accelerate this to five games. That's how this works in any court of it. law anywhere. You show up for a second time and a third time and an eighth time, the judge is going to look at you and say, getting kind of tired of this, Bob. I'm getting a little sick of you walking in here. We do it as parents. Of course we do. For the smallest thing. Right. It's like, you're going to challenge me again? Okay, fine. I'm going to step on your toe even harder. This is what we do. By the way, it's been said a couple times, and I don't even know where it, it sort of came from. I feel like it started on the crossover earlier today. It's been thrown out there that John Morant got a 10-game suspension. John Morant got a 25-game suspension. It was 25, suspension. yeah. 25. I just want to make, because I've seen it a couple of times on uh, on our chat also, and people are comparing it. They're like, Ja got 10 for guns, and Draymond got 5 for this. Ja got 25. Ja got 25-game suspension. So just make sure if you want to comp stuff, right. comp it to that. Ja got 25. You can go to the Wikipedia of uh, NBA suspensions, and it goes all the way down to some players who got six games for violent acts and flagrant fouls of a much more violent nature. And then you look at Draymond's five games, and you realize that this is entirely, the majority of this is based on the fact that he's had multiple transgressions. And forget what happened with Jordan Poole at practice. I don't think that that necessarily weighed in. But go back to last year's playoffs where he stomped on Sabonis, yep. and you got a game, and you flail kick Steven Adams, you body slam Michael Beasley, you Mitch Cup checked LeBron James, <laughs> and you've had so many of these incidents. And there's even a uh, a post on X that is like a video montage of all Draymond's suspendable actions. Yeah, and so you can see it. And when you see them all collectively, I mean, and we know in this market all of the things that he's done. Sure, like by the way, I I might, I might be stepping out of my lane on this one. I, this is my personal opinion. I think we're crazy if you think that 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 punching Jordan Poole wasn't a factor in tonight. I it was in practice. Yeah. It was not something that the league considered under their umbrella so they couldn't do anything about it and then the Warriors didn't but the league is keenly aware that it's on video for the whole world to consume. Sure. So the whole thing is dude, your behavior is over yeah. the top. So I wonder if they if they even had to use that as an additional piece. Well, they don't in, even have to say it, but I think right. it's, it's emotionally in the heads of the people making the decision, don't you think? Yeah, I, mean, I don't, maybe. Maybe because it's so it's so talked about and it went yeah. so viral and it's a part of his backstory. I don't think that they used the incident between he and a Michigan State football player when he reportedly slapped him yeah, at a again, party some years ago. Not in an official way, right. but in an unofficial way. I mean, the, reputation. Yeah, sure. the league. It's the same thing they would do. Like, you know, why do you think that the league is so like they were so all over John ja Morant? This is a multi-billion-dollar industry that cares about its image, and this is not what they want to portray. So, if you have somebody that wants to flash guns multiple times on the internet, they're going to be like, "That's going to be a no from us, dog." Yeah. And if you have somebody who keeps punching and poking and stomping and choking people, they're going to say the same thing. Hey, Dre, we'd like to get your attention. We'd like these images to stop being on the Internet. It has nothing to do with Rudy and fairness and last night's basketball game. It has to do with an image that the NBA is trying to promote or an image that they're not trying to promote. Um, but let's get to your calls. We're going to move Tim Kawakami to tomorrow because of this breaking okay. news. So we'll have TK on tomorrow, um, and, and we'd like to hear from you, your reaction to the breaking news that Draymond Green will be suspended for the next five games here on Willard and Dibbs. Let's go to AJ in Redwood City. Hi, AJ. Thanks for calling. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? What's up? Um, Just reacting to this news, I, I expected five games like in that area i felt like that was expected because exactly like as i was calling in you guys started talking about it 
it's the repeat offender thing. Joe Dumars, who's like the VP of whatever, whatever, uh, last year for the Sabonis suspension, he, he, he said that exact thing where it's like it's a collective sort of behavior. Other factor he didn't mention is just like the previous beef between Green and Rudy Gobert around like him crying about the all-star selection or something. You guys remember this? Like, am I crazy here? Um, I wonder if that was a factor too. Just like, hey, these, like this person is just like out to get this person. We got to cut like nip that sort of personal beef in the bud. Um, you know, in terms of how it's going to affect the Warriors, Curry's out. Right, so it's like, did we were we gonna win these games, all of them anyway? Maybe it doesn't like really affect you know what the record would have ended up being. Um, but anyways, I, my, my closing thought is, as a fan of the Warriors, I'm sick of Draymond's crap, dude. Like I don't, it's tough. It gets tough to cheer when it's like just a complete overreaction, you know. People on Twitter are saying he's like he does it for like the content for his podcast. It's like hard not to. He's just being like overly provocative and not like it, it feels out of body and out of well, character in like a way that I don't appreciate anymore. Yeah, I, AJ. I look. There are a lot of thank you. There are a lot yeah. of people in your corner, AJ. But I would say this. Um, toward the end, it sort of sounded like you were pushing toward calling this for show or inauthentic. When I look at Draymond, you can hate his guts. But one thing I'll say, that's an authentic man. Like, that's, this is who he is. And I don't think, he's not choking Rudy for clicks. Like, that is what happens to that person in that moment. Right. Every time. You can say, I mean, you can make a determination for yourself about how he processes adversity or how he chooses to control or not control his anger in moments. And I think that's a part of who he is. And you're right, Mark, in terms of the authenticity and you watch the way he competes, he competes harder than almost any athlete I've ever seen. But at times he lets the adversity get the better of him. Usually it has to do with officials and calls that he doesn't necessarily agree with. Last night, I think was a case where he was trying to help his teammate out who was being, uh, restrained by the opponent. And once he got to that opponent, whether or not the bad blood that he has with that individual then spilled over into a more prolonged choke than it would have been for another player. Let's just say that LeBron James happened to be the one who got tangled up with clay Thompson. Does, does Draymond take LeBron <laughs> 27 feet across the court in Maybe. that same fashion? I don't Maybe. think so. I don't know. He kicked him in the you know what's once already. That was a long time ago. It was. And they have subsequently become very close and yeah. business associates. So I just, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm I not going to put myself in Draymond's head because so. that's a place that nobody could possibly be. I do know if, when you look at the history of suspensions in the league, this incident to me doesn't match up with other players who have gotten Similar suspension, right? Because that's not how they're looking at it. I, right. I agree with right. you. Yeah. So I, I would just suggest to every fan, you can have every opinion, but don't take this at face value. Don't just look at last night's play and go five games for that. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. And 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 AJ just called in and goes, maybe it was this that he did, or maybe it was that that he did. No, it was all of it. It was all of it. The NBA says there is a build up here, repeat offender. Um, got personal with with another player, all of that stuff. It all adds into the sauce. And uh, and that's how you get five games. There's no question in my mind. There's no other player in the league that would have gotten five games for this. And, uh, and the league will look at you and go, yeah, that's right. And in our minds, that's fair. And based on what they've said is the rules, d- they're right. That's the rules. Yeah. You are a, 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 you're not just a repeat offender. You're a repeat, 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 repeat offender. Yeah. So they're going to keep dropping the hammer. And the next time he gets suspended, it's going to be even longer. For something of a, of a of, similar of this nature. variety. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just looking back at some of the history. 1996, Dennis Rodman headbutting referee Ted Bernhardt <laughs> after being ejected. He got six games. Now, that was 1996. He'd get a half a season now. He might get a whole season. Yep. And uh, Latrell Sprewell got a whole season reduced when he choked P.J. Carlissimo, his own coach, which, again, was not it was something more akin to what Draymond and Jordan Poole got into. But for some reason, you know, that 
I the, mean, the team didn't suspend Draymond for that. Here's here's one another way to look at the way the NBA is looking at it. What do you think the Warriors would do if Draymond punched a teammate again? It depends which teammate. <laughs> Good answer. Honestly, and I I do think that some was, of that. What if it was BP? If he if if BP was feeling himself a little too much yep. in, in practice, yeah, he's cocky, and he got clocked. Uh, I think this time the, there would be a different uh, a different punishment. I do believe that it would be much more of a harsher. It would be more of a harsh punishment this time around. Of course, because he's a repeat offender. Yeah, yeah. Um, by the way, adding more breaking news to this situation, courtesy of Adrian Wojnarowski, uh, the NBA is fining twenty five thousand dollars apiece. Clay Thompson, Jaden McDaniels, and Rudy Gobert. So much for being just a peacemaker. Right. Somebody looked at the video and saw something, because if the officials called him just a peacemaker, then he's not getting fined 25K. Exactly. Yeah. So why doesn't he get a game? And, and this is where... Because he didn't do the same thing that Draymond but did. But what he did was put his hands on the opponent in an aggressive fashion. So did the other two players who just got fined. They get fined because they were the ones who started it. You right. started it. No, you started it. Fine. I mean, you get... They got ejected. They got 25K. I get it. I don't love them being eject ejected, but it happened, and now you get 25K on top. But if Rudy Gobert is a peacemaker, he gets no fine. And if he's not a peacemaker, then he's an agitator, and he gets suspended for a game. Yeah, no, he wasn't just a, a peacemaker, but I don't know that an agitator automatically gets one game. And, again, he's Rudy. The other guy's Draymond. Sorry, that matters. I know people want to go fairness. Right. No. The league is like, no, I'm sorry. We're not doing that. Yes, your history matters. Um, let's go to a Jay in Oakland on Willard and Dibs. Hi, Jay. What's up? Hey, what's going on, fellas? What's going on? I, I, I just I just want to take a couple seconds. There's a lot of emotions. I got to get off my chest about this whole Draymond thing. Okay. As a Warriors fan, it was super frustrating. But I, I'm not going to lie. The whole incident was kind of funny. But. The point I'm trying to make is, as I am super frustrating. Like the last caller said, I'm kind of fed up with Draymond. Dips, I don't fully understand how you're surprised that he got this this long of expen uh, suspension. I think personally, the suspension should have been a lot longer. I mean, no nowhere in any type of workplace can you repeatedly assault. Not I won't say assault, but put your hands on someone and then think that the punishment isn't going to escalate more and more the more times that you do it. Um, so that's my first point. But my other point is this whole narrative that Draymond did it for Clay. It, Clay was not in any danger. This wasn't the streets. This wasn't Rutgers Park. Clay wasn't in danger of being harmed. Like So the fact that he came to Clay Rescue, I think, is a, a lot of BS. And they're like, oh, yeah, he had Clay's back. Nobody else on that court choked Rudy Gobert. So by that logic, does nobody else on the court have Clay back because they didn't choke Rudy Gobert? I I'm, I'm, know I'm killing his name, but the point is I'm trying to make is, is that I'm really frustrated with this whole thing with Draymond. I think Draymond did it for Draymond's reason. He, it had nothing else to do with nobody else. It was all Draymond. Draymond did it for his own personal reasons. Uh Steph didn't come off the court or off the bench because even though, the, you know, Clay's his guy because he knows that if he came off the bench, it would have hurt the team. Draymond doesn't process things that way. He processed things for Draymond first. That's why Draymond did it. Well, I, he didn't Jay, it I, nobody I, yeah, Jay, I think you've got a lot of points there. I, I, I really do. Um, I don't agree with the part where we're saying that this is almost like, okay, I'm Draymond. And so now this is a premeditated opportunity for me to heighten my own brand. That's a lot of a thought process to go through all in a flash of a moment. I don't I would, think it's about the brand. I do think that he sees that it's go bear and that takes it from a from a 7 to a 10. Agree completely. Agree completely, but I'd also say like okay, why did Steph not do it? Why did Chris Paul not do it? Um that because that's not the way that they're wired in those moments. And Draymond is. Steph's so, got a hurt MCL. He's not coming yeah, running from. So, and I'm looking at it again. He's wearing a button down shirt for crying out loud. He's he looked not good. good. Uh, he, look, he looked like he was dressed up as a basketball yeah. for Halloween. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, 
Uh, Chris Paul, first of all, he travels before he even comes near the fray, which they missed that one. They should have cracked him for traveling there. Andrew Wiggins is slowly trotting over, and uh, Draymond does come flying out of nowhere. Yeah. I wish I could turn around the screen and show you the still. Rudy Gobert is behind Clay, and he has Clay wrapped around the neck. And so, yes, Draymond gets five games. I'm not surprised that he's getting five. I totally understand the previous incidents and all the rest of it. I am just a little bit surprised that upon looking at this, Rudy Gobert doesn't at least get a flagrant two after the fact and get a couple of flagrant points on his record for what he did to Clay Thompson. Uh, NBA's official statement um, is out. It does not talk about repeat offender. What it says is Golden State Warriors forward Draymond Green has been suspended five games without pay for escalating an on-court altercation and forcibly grabbing Minnesota Timberwolves center Rudy Gobert around the neck in an unsportsmanlike and dangerous manner. That is the Draymond Green portion of the uh, the statement. It yeah. also says the length of the suspension. Oh, I, I stand corrected. Uh-oh, here it comes. The length of the suspension is based in part on Green's history of unsportsmanlike acts. And there you go. So there you have it. So... So, he gets suspended because it was an escalation the, sensation. The act is suspension worthy. The length is history. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, and it's you know. I think that's fair. And somebody I, on sorry. Twitter yesterday was talking about suffocation sensation, and I had to correct him. It's a strangulation sensation. Good job. Was I thought, well, you can keep racking up the dollars. Him out three you know, times. Seriously, and I'm looking at the still right now, and he absolutely did escalate it. So I could see him being suspended. But Rudy Gobert also escalated it because he didn't need to come in and grab Clay Thompson about the head and neck. And he's not doing it to pull Clay away or he's not trying to separate. There's an official who has the two arms and he's trying to do wow. he's trying to do the breaststroke. I know, but and you separate. Got, like, like I, I feel yeah, like we, Rudy Gobert. We're, spending, we're spending too much time with everybody's screenshot. I know you got Rudy with his arms around Clay. Stop acting like they're the same. They're not the they're same. They're not the same. It's nowhere near as But forcible. he escalated it as well. And that's why he got fined $25,000. Ooh, twenty five k. Well, look, that's the deal. You know, how much does Rudy make? Uh, Thirty five mil? I'm not worried about any of their finances. The four of them are all fine. Okay, yes. Did Rudy step out of line? Sure. Was it anywhere near what Draymond did? No. Does Rudy have any of the history that Draymond does? No. So yeah, so that's why he doesn't get five games. Correct. That's why he doesn't get any games. Forty-one million. I think he's playing right now. Go Bear, <laughs> isn't he? I think they got a game tonight. I know Jordan Poole's playing right now. <laughs> How's it going? Actually, pretty good for JP. Okay, he's good. three of ten. They're down by twenty. He's a minus fourteen. <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry. The, I'm Timberwolves, just, yeah. the Timberwolves don't t don't tip off for another twenty five minutes. They're in Phoenix tonight, and Rudy Gobert will be starting. So I guarantee you, KD's got Draymond's back. Oh yeah, he's Coming going. To, he's going to go. By back. the way, just forty-one so, million dollars. You got five twenty-five thousand dollars <laughs> before, but it's not about the money. It's about it's about the message. So the answer, the one other part about that 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 our most recent caller said, like, stop saying that Draymond was picking up for Clay. I I, I hear where you're coming from. I think this is just, in some respects, this is the it's almost the culture of sport. The culture of sports suggests that when you are the lead emotional dog of a sports team, you show up for these moments with aggressiveness. And 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 then we all go, he had his teammates back. Brandon Pajemski said it to us an hour ago. Draymond had Clay's back, and that's what I would want a teammate to do. Um, he just said it to us. So... It may not matter to us. It may not feel that way on TV, but that's what you do. When you're the lead emotional player, I'm not talking about his intent. That's what you do. Yeah. You When, when somebody touches your guy, you go get him. And and it, it is usually like it gets a positive response out of most sports fans. Yes, and it gets a positive response from most Warriors fans, except for some Warriors fans, and it's not a small percentage Warriors fans who are just, quote, tired 
of Draymond's act. Oh, sure. And you could be tired of Draymond's act, but you also have to, in the same breath, realize that that act has been a key part of winning four championships. Um, and that, to me, Mark, is what makes the Draymond Green conundrum the most complicated puzzle of any player I've ever rooted for in my life. I agree with you, but I don't think the Warriors find it complicated. No, of course not. But they, I'm talking they, about fans. Yeah, they think four years, $100 million. And they think, and I'm not going to speak for Mike Dunleavy or Steve Kerr, but what this means, him missing five games, it's, it's water off a duck's back. If he, you know, for what he did to stand up for his teammates, how much does that help the oh. the culture and the ethos of the team versus oh. him missing five games? I agree with you, but we might have a different view if they're six and eleven in two weeks. Um, let's go to Chris and San Leandro, and then we want to get as many of you as possible. A lot of people want to weigh in. Hey, Damn, Chris, phones. What's going on? What's up, fellas? Um, I just got to say, like, uh, it doesn't really matter what I think. I'm trying to think of it in probably the person that matters the most, which is Steph. Um, I want to pose this question to you guys. Um, like, if, in Steph's mind, there has to be an inkling of, am I going to ride with my boys and am I cool with four? Or you're looking at one of your brothers, your, his antics are getting old, his hysterics are getting old. You look at your other brother, he just looks old. And, like, are you cool with four with how in the level of play you're, that you're, you're playing? Or... Are you? Do you got to blow it up at one time? Yeah. You know? What? But what's That's his other? What's his other option, Chris? I mean, can well can he be like every other superstar and be like, "Hey, man, this is not working," right? Um, can he do that? Yeah, he can. Uh, but thanks, Chris. That and then the team might go and. <laughs> what is it you'd like us to do? Right. There, like, there's no like you can't just go get Giannis. No. Like, I mean, this isn't a super team thing. He's not a free agent. There's only so much the Warriors can do. They're in a in a in a in a financial flexibility sort of a spot. Um, Steph's not young. None of them are young. No. And old habits die hard. Like these super competitive, successful people, they don't think they're done. Steph doesn't think Draymond and Clay are cooked. No, and I he don't. He doesn't think that. We, you all think that. He doesn't think that. Well, and I don't think the owner thinks that. And you can't possibly quote blow this up because you know you, you let Clay go, you can't replace him. And if uh, CP3 leaves in the off season, if you don't re-sign him, you can't replace that salary spot. So there are only so many moves you can make. And if you're going to trade these players, who's going to really want to? Give you value back. I mean, yeah, isn't it right now? You're riding with this, this to the is end. Ride or die. Yeah.